Hi, I'm Steve Arbaro. This is One on One. We're coming to you from the Agnes Ferris NJTV studio in Newark. It's our honor to introduce two very special guests, two educators making a difference in the lives of fourth graders every day. Brian Tobin. How you doing? Todd Wilson. How you doing? Fourth grade teachers, Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School in beautiful Trenton, New Jersey. Good to see That's you guys. Right. How you doing? Thanks this for having is, me. This uh, is part of our, our collaborative series we're doing in cooperation with the NJEA, um, part of the classroom close-up initiative yes. that continues. Set this up. We're about to see a clip. This is from um, your students. You take them, fourth grade students, to the old barracks in yes. Trenton. Yes. What is yep. Describe what that is. Uh, it's, it's an area where they talk about the Revolutionary War, and we were lucky enough to get a, uh, a grant from the uh, Crossroads of the Revolution that actually paid for us to get there. And the kids had an awesome experience. This is good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Want to talk about it when we come back? All right. Come right. Let's go to uh, the old barracks. This is a classroom close-up. Check it out. I need two equal length lines coming off of their shoulders, shoulder to shoulder towards the barracks. It means something to them. They have some sort of ownership over the whole experience because they're putting themselves into it. These fourth graders from Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School are experiencing firsthand what it was like to be a soldier during the American Revolution. We are working with the crossroads of the revolution and we had an opportunity to come here and see what's going on in Trenton. Crossroads is one of 49 national heritage areas in the country. We're the nonprofit that's set up to manage all of the Revolutionary War sites in the state of New Jersey. There are students from all over the state that come to the old barracks, but generally they don't come from the Trenton schools. And so we wanted to change that. So what Washington decided to do was that in the middle of the night, we would take our army and side skirt Trenton altogether. It's history from where they are from. They are from Trenton, New Jersey. This is Trenton. And it's an experience that, even though it is for some within walking distance for them, this is somewhere some kids have never even seen, never heard of. And some don't know that these battles and the whole war happened here, that it's real for them. It has a connection that they can make. Now, we don't often happily take kindly to strangers appearing upon a parade ground, especially when we don't know what their intentions might be. And the students were involved in the Meet the Past program, which involves them being recruited into the ranks of the Army. And repeat after me. Oi! I solemnly swear to serve for three years as a faithful soldier to these United Colonies and to the Continental Congress. What's that? You're in. We're going to go back. We're going to actually look through the videos and we're going to learn some basic editing which is really amazing for fourth graders mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Yes. So they're going to compile this information, then they're going to try to use it while they talk about their projects. I love the idea that technology is being merged with the history from the old barracks. You have this 18th century history that's being brought to life by the newest technology that we have. I love that those things are going to blend to help us learn more about the past. We're excited that we're able to give these tools to the students in Trenton, let them make their own videos, and let them also experience the revolution right here in their own backyard. Thanks so much to the Corbels for doing an excellent job. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. It's simply extraordinary. And when I'm thinking about, uh, Todd, as you know these kids, both of you know these kids, would they have a chance to see here learn about the Revolutionary War and the old barracks if it were not for this program? No, and even though it is something that is right around the corner, right down the street, or right in their own backyards, it's not a place that is readily announced to them, or it's not somewhere that would come to the forefront of their mind when they think of, hey, I'm going to go outside, what am I going to go see? They're not saying I'm going to go to the old barracks. Right. This is something where it's new to them, but when they got to experience it and when they saw what it was and that it was so close, it has an excitement mm -hmm. and they now have a connection to something that they will be able to take with them forever. Yeah. Brian, what does it do for them in terms of the possibilities they see for themselves? Oh, it's, it's endless because like um, they're going to be video, they videotaped just the beginning of this. Now they're going to do editing. This is something that is the 21st century for them. We have the ability with Chromebooks that we can do more research, and they're actually going to do a video vlog at the end of the year 
and we're going to have like a movie presentation in May. You know, I'm curious about this. We've, we've done a lot of these segments over the years, and, and every time we meet public school teachers, uh, educators who are making a difference every day, particularly in, I shouldn't say particularly in urban areas, but there are certain challenges you face. How gratifying is it for you, for both of you, but how gratifying is it to see these kids, their eyes open up, be totally, my favorite word, engaged when this is happening? Um, it just, it's more of a spark inside of me that, that matches the spark that I see inside of them. Mm -hmm. Because you see hope, you see kids who are like, wow, I had no idea this existed, and mm -hmm. suddenly it opens up a whole world to them. And it gets me excited to keep going, it gets me pumped up to, as I used to play sports, I was an athlete. Mm. And it's like winning a championship. Every time you see like the sparkle in a kid's eye, when they say, I get it, or not even if they don't get it yet, if I want to learn this. That's a big win. I have a yeah. thirst for the knowledge. So, but finally, does it, remind you, does it remind you as to why you even got into education? Absolutely. And, and, you know, there's so many things going on today with education. And when you see these children, wanting to learn, reaching out, coming to me and Todd and saying, I just found this information about smallpox. Mm. Like, it, it's, it makes me want to, it, it tells us why we're educators. Yes. Well, this is the reason why we became into this profession, because of the kids. And, and it just makes us do it even better. Brian and Todd, I appreciate it. We appreciate everything that you're doing, uh, particularly with your colleagues, the NJEA uh, Classroom Close-Up uh, Series. You, you saw the website throughout this program, so check it out. Keep doing what you're doing. Best to your kids. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Steve Adubato. This is One on One. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, Guarini Institute for Government and Leadership at St. Peter's University, and by Suez. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.